We mabonde libe ikate lula bronde kate. You want to join me this morning once again? The song we just sang. He said, "Adenti na miri endawasi Yehua." There is a reason for which you can bless and honor and give thanks to God this morning. There is a reason. The reason is that I am alive. I am alive, Kato. The reason is that he watched over me throughout the night. The reason is that he is my shield. He is my deliverer. The reason is that he saved me by his blood. You want to thank God this morning. As I said yesterday, if you are lying on the bed, just sit up and be deliberate this morning and say thank you to God. And say thank you to God. And say thank you to God. Yesterday, I just walked into the house from outside and I just break forth in thanksgiving because I just, I just went back through how my day went. And I said, Lord, it could only be you. 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 I just break forth in thanksgiving. Not that I just deliberately, I just, I just break forth because the things that came up during the day, I thought, oh, this thing, it wasn't possible. Oh, how could this thing be done? But the Lord showed me mercy. The Lord showed me mercy. So just when I entered in, I just said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I just went on thanking God. Thanking God, thanking God, thanking God, thanking God, thanking God for His goodness, for how He took me through the day. You want to thank the Lord for this blessed day. You want to thank the Lord. The Bible says, This is the day the Lord has made. It is the day your Father has made. And He it said, It's a day that we must rejoice and be glad in it. You want to thank the Lord that He has ordained you that you will rejoice within this day. That you will rejoice within this day. That you will rejoice within this day. You want to show gratitude unto the Lord this morning. You say, Lord, I thank you that I can speak. But in this speech that we take it for granted, oh, some cannot speak at all. These things that we can remember, others cannot remember anything at all. But the Lord has favored us. The Lord has been so gracious to us. And you want to say, Lord, I thank you that I can speak. I thank you that I can walk. I thank you for good health. I thank you for your deliverance. I thank you that I did not die prematurely. I thank you for the resources that you have supplied unto me. I thank you for the position I occupy. I thank you for your glory that shows out day in and day out in my life. I thank you for your glory. I thank you, O oh God that your mighty hand rests upon me. I thank you for a new day. I thank you for your favor. I thank you for your grace, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God, for your angels, O oh God. I thank you for access you have given unto me. I thank you, O oh God. The Lord is good and His mercy endureth forever. This is the day the Lord he has made us. You want to bless him. You want to honor him. You want to give him glory. You want to be deliberate about that. You want to say, Lord, I am grateful for all the graciousness of God, for all the mercy of God, for the forgiveness of sinners. The Bible says, forget not of all his benefits. Forget not of all his benefits. He forgives us. He healed all our diseases. He satisfies our mouth with good good things. You want to say, Lord, thank you, Jesus, for another day. Another day to walk in your life. Another day to walk in your glory. Another day to walk in your power. Another day to walk in your excellence. Another day to walk in your favor. Another day, oh God, to walk, oh God, in your blessings, Lord. Another day to be a blessing unto the people. You bring my day, my way, Lord. Lord, we thank you and we bless and we honor you, oh God. You've been so gracious to us. Thank you, Lord. And brethren, once again, I want you to commit your day into the hands of the living God. Maybe you are already on your way. You want to say, Lord, take me out. And Lord, bring me back safely. 
Lord, take me out and bring me back safely. Confidence, if you are there, just give me Isaiah 45, I think, verse 2 and 3. Isaiah 45, verse 2 and 3. I want to read it quickly, then we pray about it. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kayande, Lebron de Bakate. This is what the Lord says. He said, I will go before thee and make the crook places straight. I will go before thee and make the crook places straight. Some crook places must be made straight. Any crook place that you ought to walk in, it must be made straight. But the Lord is assuring you that I will go before thee. That today the Lord will go before thee and make the crook places straighter. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I will break in pieces the gates of brass. Any gates of brass that will want to stand against you. May the Lord break it in pieces in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And cut in sand the bars of iron. The limits must be broken. Every limit of God that is set your way today. It must be broken uh, mm. by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, mm. The Lord cuts in sand uh, the bars of iron. Uh, mm. The Lord cuts in sand uh, the bars of iron. Uh, mm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, mm. The crook way is being made straighter. Uh, mm. Even as you step into the day, mm. any crook way, any arrangement uh, mm. of the devil for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, mm. David will say, I have escaped uh, mm. as a bear escape from the snare of the enemy. May you escape today. Even as you go through your day, may we escape. May our children escape. We declare that the church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth will escape like a bear from the snare of the enemy by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will give thee, O God, the treasures of, of darkness. Uh, the treasures of darkness. Uh, may the Lord give you wisdom. Kabatone be ikate. Leba bonde luanda kate. Riba barikate luanda baba. The treasures of God that are reserved for you. May the Lord bring you into it. Uh, by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and it's a hidden riches. Uh, hidden riches of the secret places. Uh, may the Lord bring us into that place. Uh, he said, when the Lord goes ahead of you, he brings you, oh God, he gives you the treasures of darkness. He brings you into the hidden riches in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, that, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which calleth thee by name, I am the God of Israel, that you will know that indeed he is the God of he is your God. He will do all these things that you will know. May the Lord lead us as we go through the day. May the Lord be with us as we stay at home. May the presence of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, and the presence of the Lord was with Joseph, even in the prison. And everything that he does, he prospered. He prospered. He prospered. He succeeded. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, mm. that the presence of the Lord will be with us, uh, mm. even as we step into the day, mm. that the Lord will lead us by His Spirit. Uh, mm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, mm. we also want to pray this morning uh, mm. that you will receive help. Mm. 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 The Holy Spirit is there to help you. Mm. The Holy Spirit is there to guide you. Mm. The Holy Spirit is there to lead you into all truth. Uh, mm. Receive help this morning uh, by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, everything that you do, receive help from the Lord uh, by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you are, you are, you are not feeling well, this morning, wherever you are experiencing the pain, I want you to just believe God with me this morning. 
If you are weak in your body, I want you to believe God with me this morning. Uh, that the body of weakness, uh, that weakness in that body will give way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that challenge that you are going through this morning uh, regarding your health, uh, we command uh, by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, be uprooted uh, by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, if you woke up confused this morning, morning, I speak the peace of God over you and over your family. By the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare the Lord quicken your body now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your mind be quickened, your soul be quickened, your spirit be quickened, everything within you be quickened this morning. By the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you, has he quickened, he has made a life. He has made a life. Uh, the life of the Lord run through your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Uh, be energized this morning uh, by the power of the highest. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, be energized, be stirred up uh, by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, let the spirit of the Lord come upon you mightily. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. 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 He said, commit all your ways into the hands of the living God. And he will lead you. He will lead you. He will lead you. Kala bronde biikate. Reba bonde luanda kate. I declare this morning. You want to speak to yourself. The Lord, he satisfied me with good things. Even as I go through the day, the Lord will satisfy me. He will satisfy my family. He will satisfy the church. He will satisfy his body. May you not like any good thing. May you not like the blessings of the Lord. May you not like the, the favor of the Lord. The grace upon you, David said, Thou anointed my head with oil and my cup overflow. May there be an overflow this morning. By the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that you overflow with the blessings of the Lord. With the grace grace of the Lord, with the power of the Lord, you overflow with the healing of the Lord, you overflow with the strength of the Lord, you overflow with the might of the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the Lord this day satisfy us with good things, with good things, is there anything too hard for the Lord, oh there is nothing Lord, is there anything too hard for the Lord, the Lord quicken you. The Lord open that door unto you. The Lord bring you into that place of grace because you have access. We're standing in grace. You have access. We're standing in grace. And with him, you can do all things. Sir. Today, you can do all things. Sir. The Lord indeed proved to me that whatever that was said to be done, sir, yesterday he equipped me. He brought me in my way. And I was so surprised sir, that I was able Calabra Nakate, to achieve my goal for the day. The Lord he is faithful. The Lord he is faithful. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Let's go to our scripture we looked at yesterday. Kalabu, Mara, Nekate. Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. We will not give ourselves up unto wickedness, but we will know our God. And we'll be strong in our God. And we will do exploit. We will do exploit. Family, our place, our place as children of God is to do exploit. Because we know our God. And let me say this. I didn't give a theme to, to confidence or whoever that coordinated the morning devotion. But that person actually picked my thoughts. Know God. That is the title the, 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 the person put there, you must know God. He picked my thought exactly. When I looked at it, I said, oh, God bless this person. So you must know God. Know your God. Know your God. It's a must that you must know your God. When we know our God, brethren, when all other people will say it cannot be done, because you know that your God is a God of all possibilities, you will say, I don't know how 
he will do it. But I know he will come through for me. Because Saul didn't know God, he came to discourage David. If you don't know your God, discouragement will come in. The voice of the enemy will be so loud in your ears. The voice of the enemy, the voice of disappointment over the years will come so loud into your ears. If you do not know God, you will say this battle cannot be won. But if you know your God, if you know your God, you will say this same God that was with me in the wilderness, he is that same God that will cause me to overcome this uncircumcised feeling. If you know God, you will approach your day in boldness. You will look at the circumstances and you will smile and say, this God that has brought me this far, he is that same God that will carry me through. If you know your God, oh, you will stand your ground, sir. You will not buckle down with fear. You will not retreat, sir. But you will say, hey, he says to me, and I believe it, and he will lead me through. If you know your God, uh, you will stand in your place of blessedness. Uh, you will say to yourself, uh, my age does not matter as he did with Elizabeth. Uh, so will he do unto me. If you know your God, uh, you will say to yourself, uh, if oh, a virgin uh, was made to conceive, uh, oh, the Lord will make me to conceive uh, new ideas uh, and I will break forth uh, and I will step into my place uh, and I will conceive physically. If you know your God, uh, you will rise up this morning in joy, knowing that the Lord, he will come through for you. When Saul has spoken, uh, David stood his ground, sir. Hey, Calamabro Nekate. And he said, this God that delivered me, he is that same God that will, that will deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine that has defied the army of the Lord. If you know your God, you will not keep quiet, but you will speak to the situation, and the situation will obey you. The mountains will be moved because a son and a daughter of God has risen up and is declaring to the situation, if you know your God, you will say, my end shall be greater because that is what the Lord says unto me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Know your God. Know your God. And today I want to pick something. Just briefly, I know my time is almost up. I have seven minutes. Job chapter 19, verse 25 to 28. Job chapter 19, 25 to 28. Quickly. For I know that my Redeemer liveth. For I know, oh Jesus Christ, Job in the midst of the challenges, Job sitting before his friends who came and said all manner of things unto him and make him tell that the situation he's in, he created him himself. Job, when he opened his mouth, he said, for I know, for I know my Redeemer live Kala no ne mi ikate. Hey, people of God, may we know that our Redeemer, he liveth. May we know that our healer, he liveth. May we know that our lifter up, he liveth. May we know that promotion does not come from the east nor the west, but it is the Lord that promotes that my promotion will come through in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he shall stand at the Later day upon the earth, uh, he said, the Lord will stand for me. The Lord will stand for me. I know my Redeemer liveth. Uh, I know he is not going to sleep. Uh, I know he is not dead. Uh, I know that he is not uh, on a journey. Uh, but I know my Redeemer liveth. Family, we must be certain. People of God, we must be certain. Kalaba, Bonikete, Rema Bonde Likata, Lulebra Akate, Reba Bande Likate. When when Paul prayed, 
for the church in Ephesus. Mm. In Ephesians chapter 1, 15 to 20. It's not that you will that you know the power that is at work in you. The power that is at work in you. The power that is at work in you. That you will know the hope of your calling. Mm. That you will know that he has called you for a purpose. Mm. He has not called you to disgrace you. Mm. But he has called you that through his son mm. you will be glorified. Mm. He has called you Maria Dalika Palulebe. That every day, Barine Barakate, mm. the Bible says, Thanks be to God mm. who always causes us to triumph, mm. who always gives us the victory. Mm. You must know that today, too, there is victory for you. Mm. You must know that today he has dispatched his angels mm. to watch over you and your children. Mm. You must know and not live in fear. Mm. By the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm. you must know that your Redeemer, he lives. There is somebody that re- redeems. There is somebody that is alive. He said, do, verse 26. He said, do, after my skin worms destroyed this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Hallelujah. Brethren, yet in this flesh we shall see God. We shall see his finger. We shall see his power. We shall see his grace. We shall see his favor. We shall see his deliverance. We shall see his glory. We shall see him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, walk through our family. We shall see him in the life of our children. He said, yes, Kalema Brondekate. This was a man, his body was being eaten up. This was a man, Kalema Nakate. Abandoned and forsaken. This was a man that his face will come and sit. And for three days they will not say anything. But yes, he said, yes, in this state, I will see God. May we see God. May we experience him. May we be bold and rise up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, mm. like Job did, uh, and say, yes, oh, I, I feel like sinking <laughs> oh, by the Lord. Mm. <laughs> he has made me like a, a, a robber that cannot sink. Mm. They push me in, and I'll bounce back. Uh. They push me in, and I'll bounce back. Uh. May you bounce back uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh. Mm. May you take territory, sir. Uh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh. may you come into your fullness. Uh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh. may the glory of the Lord be revealed in and through your life. Yet, in this flesh, I'm not waiting till I die. Oh, I am bound to walk in the blessings of God. I am bound to walk in the favor of the Lord. In this flesh, I will see God. In this flesh, I will see God. In this flesh, the church of God, we will see God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. He said, whom I will see for myself, and my eyes shall behold. And not another, though my rain, my rain be consumed within me. May we see God. May you see God. May you see God. May you see God. Stay blessed. Enjoy the day. And as the Lord has promised us, may he go ahead of us. May the mountains be moved. May the hills be moved. May the kindness of the Lord not depart from us. May the peace of God, the covenant of peace of God, be with us forever. In Jesus' name, amen.